Hello there. Welcome to a tyke farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Ding a ling ding dong the bell. It's Thursday morning, quarter past six. No one on site yet. Sun's just coming out. As usual, I'll make two or three videos throughout the day. I'll uh, go and have a look at the chickens now. Turn the lights out. And I'll be with you shortly. Very quiet, very peaceful this time of morning. Nice and cool. It's just really nice to be walking around. See if there's any pumpkin left. Mm, can't see it in there. Maybe at the back. Maybe they do eat this grind on the pumpkin, I don't know. Can't see it in there. Oh, there. There's the vine. Yeah, we'll check them out this morning. I won't bother finding them any other greenery today. Don't want to change the diet too quickly, I suppose. But we've got... Um, all this bank, all the way back to the house, it's, and the other side, for that matter. It's covered in sweet potatoes, you can't see them. And they Google sweet potatoes, and the chickens can eat the leaves as well as the sweet potato. It's always well to check what the can and can't eat. So... Let me try them on some sweet potato leaves. It's like tomatoes. You can feed red tomatoes or ripe tomatoes. Because there might be a yellow variety or a black variety of tomatoes. You can feed chickens on ripe tomatoes, but the green tomatoes before, and the leaves of the tomato plant are toxic to birds. So it's always good to check anything you're going to give them. Um, if the sea is ranging on the outside, they know the self what they can eat and what they can't eat. So I suppose even if you did give them anything that's not good for them, they have, they have the insect instinct not to eat it. So I'll leave this video there and I'll make another one later on this morning when the guys are on site and we know what they're going to do. I think we'll be finished with the netting for now until next week or oh, tomorrow, Friday tomorrow is All Souls Day yeah? so there'll be nobody working tomorrow. Um, Win and Ramel will work Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Soy, I think, 
uh, he might not be working Friday, Saturday, he never works Sunday, or very rarely works Sunday. So we'll see what happens. There'll be very little going on tomorrow. So I'll leave this video there and get back to you shortly. It's uh, nearly one o'clock. I've just got back from Danau. Uh, it's holiday tomorrow. Everybody's finishing, well not everybody, but a lot of people are finishing at work at lunchtime today. I've never seen so much traffic locally. Bloody motorbikes everywhere. Uh, so it's a big holiday tomorrow. We'll go and have a look and see what we've done this morning. I'm going to sweep out this end of the piggery and down that side and disinfect it. Uh, after I've had some lunch. Continuing to work on the netting on this end and getting all the VO bar installed and the angle iron. I don't think there'll be any net put up because um, we haven't got them clips. We're still pecking at the pumpkin, it's just a skin left, but we're pecking at it. <laughs> so I'll leave this video there, and I'll do another one later this afternoon. I've just been looking at the chickens and the mobile phones playing, so we'll have to blank a, lot of, a bit of audio out, I think, on this one. It's uh, five o'clock, so we'll go and see what we've done today. Uh, we're not working tomorrow. Uh, Sorry's not back in till Monday now. We know I'm a little bit in Saturday and Sunday. So we've finished this end off. Cable ties uh, need clipping off tidying it up we've still got to put a door in here and where the electric cable goes in needs sewing up and there's a little patch there to do which we'll cover when we do the vent in the roof Now this end we've got the iron working, I don't think you can see on the, when the pan onto the roof, there we are, this real bar going crossways and lengthways and uprights to the roof, and then a bit of angle iron in, in here, which will form the, the door. But we can't put any net up because we've lost, uh, we've run out of clips. So Monday, sorry, Saturday and Sunday, wind was on about rust proof in the um, fence, ready for painting, but that's not a priority. 
so I'm going to get them onto this wall Saturday, Sunday. Um, they can put the angle line, sorry, the real bar in on Saturday, get it shuttered up and pour it on Sunday. And then that's a good step forward in the hen house. Uh, so I'll get them to do that, I think. I've um, been all around the outside of the pickery uh, with disinfectant this afternoon, sprayed that. So next week I'll be uh, looking to whitewash the, the piggery out. They're getting big then birds. I want to get them moved. Now wind, I don't know which it is, wind was telling me we're on the last bag, I think it's this bin, we're on the last bag of starter, chicken starter. And then they've got two and a half bins full of pig feed. I think that's empty now. So two, two bins full of pig feed and with two more bags of pig feed. So tomorrow I'm going to start fermenting some pig feed and see how we go with it. I won't be buying any more starter, chicken starter. Um, after chicken starter here, they put it onto a, <coughs> a different brand of pig feed. Um, everybody puts the chickens on that for some reason. I mean, pig feed has different vitamins in than what chicken feed does. But that's how, how they feed the chickens here. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the best way. And it doesn't necessarily see, uh, mean that it's, it's the wrong way to do it. The experience that they have here is that's the best feed for them. But uh, I'm going to start a fermentation off tomorrow to experiment with that and we'll see how we go. So I'll leave this video there and I'll make another video on Saturday I think. So we'll see you all then. Well, as a footnote, we'll upload this video this evening if there's Wi-Fi. Last night there was no Wi-Fi so yesterday's video was uploaded this morning.